Watermarks are an essential tool for safeguarding your visual content from unauthorized use. This means you can use watermarks to protect your images or videos so others can't use them without your consent. Today, we're going to explore how Cloudinary's JavaScript SDK simplifies this process. In today's digital age, where sharing and accessing visual content has become effortless, ensuring the protection of your creative work is of paramount importance. This is where watermarks step in as a reliable solution. Using Unsplash as an example for paid versus free images, and initially it pulls up both free and protected images. If we open up their license tab and click on free, you can see all the images that we are free to use. If we want to see their pro tier images, click on Unsplash Plus, and we can see their watermark faded in the foreground of each image to help prevent users from stealing the image without paying. By seamlessly integrating identifying images or text overlays, watermarks not only establish your content's authenticity, but also discourages unauthorized distribution. Let's dive into the functionality of Cloudinary's JavaScript SDK. We'll be working on two distinct images. We'll apply an image overlay to the top image and a text overlay to the bottom image. Let's start by focusing on the image overlay for the top image. The image is initially set at 300 pixels by 300 pixels for better visibility. To incorporate the overlay, Cloudinary provides the overlay method to which we attach the source. The source can be an image or text. In this instance, we're choosing an image from our Cloudinary account, specifically the Cloudinary icon located in the samples folder. However, the icon is a bit large for a watermark. So we need to resize it to fit snugly in the bottom right corner. We'll initiate a new transformation and use the scale option to resize it, setting the height to 55 pixels. To position it, we'll create a new position, determining its location through the compass direction and gravity. We've opted for Southeast, placing it in the lower right corner. Now, Let's explore adding text as an overlay. Similarly, we'll use the overlay method and designate text as the source. We can input our preferred text. For this example, we'll use the word preview. To refine its appearance, we'll select a font and text size, Arial 60. For a more stylized look reminiscent of a stock image, we'll bold the text using font weight and adjust the text color to a subdued gray tone. To ensure a degree of transparency, allowing the underlying image to show through, we'll introduce the opacity attribute. We'll create a new transformation to control this opacity, where we will adjust this opacity and set it to 70%. And just like that, you've successfully applied watermarks to your images. Incorporating watermarks into your images is a breeze using the overlay method from Cloudinary's JavaScript SDK. We were able to use either text or image as the source. When utilizing image, we provided the path to be a chosen Cloudinary image, resized it, and positioned the watermark at the bottom right corner of the image. For text, we used preview as our text and adjusted its presentation with font weight and text color and added a subtle transparency effect. Next up, We'll learn on the fly how we can remove or even change the background of our images simply using Cloudinary's SDK.